Hello friends, this video on determinant part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. Now let's understand a new topic called adjoint matrix. Adjoint matrix you get, you first find the cofactors and then you transpose it to get adjoint matrix. Before we even study adjoint matrix, let me tell you again the reason for adjoint matrix. The reason why we use adjoint matrix is adjoint matrix is used to find inverse of the matrix. Please note adjoint matrix is widely used to find inverse of the matrix and that is one of the critical reason why you use adjoint matrix. I'll tell you how to find it. So definition says adjoint of a square matrix again this is defined only for a square matrix is defined by transpose of the matrix where all the elements are cofactors of the element. So also adjoint matrix is denoted by ADJA. Please note adjoint matrix is generated by first finding all the cofactors, forming a matrix and then finding the transpose of the matrix obtained and that's why you got adjoint matrix. For example, if this is my matrix A, for this I have to find adjoint matrix. The first thing I have to do is I have to find my cofactors A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32 and A33 and then I will do the transpose of this guy to get this. So all the rows will become column here. So A11, A22, A13 will become A11, A12, A13. So what is transpose matrix? You take a matrix, you find all the cofactors, you find all the cofactors, arrange it in this fashion and then take a transpose of that matrix. The matrix you obtain is nothing but adjoint matrix. And the reason I told adjoint matrix is used to find inverse. So A inverse for any matrix is nothing but 1 by determinant A into adjoint A. This formula you will learn, I think in the next two, three slides, I'll explain you and maybe I'll derive you how, how to get this formula. But just understand that the reason for adjoint matrix is the first one, the critical is to find the inverse and inverse is nothing but one by A determinant into, into adjoint A and adjoint A is nothing but you find all the cofactors of the you know, elements A, I, J and then you transpose that matrix, the final matrix you get is nothing but adjoint matrix. Let's take some examples to clarify our concept. So we have to find the adjoint of this matrix. So the first thing is we have to find all the cofactors. That is A11, A12, A21 and A22. So we have to find all the cofactors. So once we are done with the cofactors then only we can find the adjoint matrix. So what is A11? You take this guy, you ignore these two, the 4 becomes A11. 4 into minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1. A12, you take this guy, you ignore this row and this column, you get 3. So 3 into minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2, that is 3. A21 is this guy, you take this element, you ignore this row and this column, you get 2 only. So 2 into minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1, 3. Similarly, A22 is this element. For this, you want to find cofactor. You take this guy, you ignore these values, you get 1. So you get 1 into minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2. So this is nothing but uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 4, this is minus 3, this is minus 2, and this is 1. So now, adjoint matrix, if you see, adjoint of A is nothing but, this is A11. This is A12, A21 and A22. This is nothing but the transpose version of this. So in the, in the earlier slide what we saw that you arrange the element in this fashion A11, A12, A21 and A22. Correct? And then you take the transpose of this. The moment you take transpose of this you get this matrix. I just wrote this directly A11, A12. Please note. Here it is A11, A12, so I took the transpose of this, you get A11, A12, A21, A22. This is the adjoint of A. So let's put the value, A11 is 4, 
a one two is minus three, a two one is minus two, and a two two is one. Correct. A one one is four. A one two is minus three. A two one is minus two, and a two two is. So this is my adjoint of this matrix. Pretty lengthy, but not that difficult to find. You have to find the cofactors, and then you have to find this matrix and get the tra transpose of this, or directly you can write this value. Put the values, get the answer. Let's find the transpose of this matrix. Little difficult because it is three cross three. This is a little lengthy question because you have to find all the cofactors. You have to find a one one. So a one one, you take this guy, you ignore this row, this row, you get these three, five, zero, and one, and this will become nothing but minus one to the power one plus one two into three into one minus five into zero. That is three minus zero. That will become three. Similarly, a one two will become. You take this guy, you ignore this row and this column. You are left with two five minus two and one. So this guy will be minus one to the power i plus zero is three into two into one minus two into one minus five into minus two. That is minus ten, and this is nothing but minus twelve. Similarly, a one three. You take this guy. And then you ignore first row and last column. You are left with two, three, minus two, and zero. So this guy will become minus one to the power one plus three, four into two into zero minus three into minus two. This is minus six. So this becomes nothing but six. Similarly, I can find a two one. A two one will be this guy. You ignore this. Uh, Row and this column, you are left with one, two, zero, and one. So you get minus one into one is minus one, and minus zero into two is zero, into minus one to the power two plus one, that is three. This is nothing but one minus one into minus one one. Similarly, a two two you get. You take this guy. You ignore second row, second column, left with one, two, minus two, and one. This is nothing but one into one. Minus two into minus two. That is one minus minus four, and the whole thing into minus one to the power two plus two four, and this is nothing but five. Similarly, a two three you can find. You take this guy, you ignore second row, last column you are left with one minus one minus two and zero. So that is nothing but minus one to the power two plus three five into one into zero, right minus. Minus two into minus one. That is zero minus two. Correct. And this is nothing but two. Similarly, I can get a three one. A three one. You take this guy. Ignore last row, first column. You're left with minus one, two, three, five. So this becomes minus one to the power three plus two five into minus one into five is minus five, and minus three into six is six. So this becomes minus eleven into Minus one, that is eleven. Correct, because minus one to the power five is. Similarly, you can find a three two is this guy. So, if you are taking this guy, what we can do is this guy is a three one actually. So, this is. Three plus one four, so this gives minus eleven. A three two is minus one to the power five. Three plus two is five. And if you take A three two, you can ignore this row, this column. You're left with one, two, two, and five. So it is five into one, five minus two into two, four. Five minus four. And that is one into minus one. That is minus one. Similarly, I get A three three. I take this guy. I ignore last row, last column. I'm left with one minus one, two and three. I get three into one, three minus two into minus one is minus two. That is, I get minus one to the power six into. I get three into one, three minus minus two. So I get five into one. That is five. 
So I've got all the elements. Now, adjoint of A is nothing but I know cofactor A11, cofactor A12, cofactor A13, cofactor A21, cofactor A22, cofactor A23, cofactor A31, A32, A33. This is already the transposed version of the matrix. The general matrix we write is like this A11, A12, A13, right? This is the transposed version. You make this row into column, you get this already transposed version. So that is adjoint of A is this value. This, let me put the value. A11 is 3, A12 is minus 12, A13 is 6, A21 is minus, sorry, A21 is plus 1. This guy is plus 1 actually, right? A21 is plus 1. A22 is this guy 5, A23 is this guy 2, A31 is this guy minus 11, A32 is minus 1, and A33 is 5. So this is my adjoint of A matrix. So it's simple but lengthy. You defined all the cofactors. And then you have to use the formula adjoint of A is equal to this, which is all the cofactors. Put the values, get the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.